Wearing a full va face veil or niqab in public is a way of life for some, but not all Muslims. Controversially, one Midlands college recently tried to ban its students from wearing them, but had to back down. The niqab isn't viewed by most people as compulsory in Islamic law, but there are younger Muslim women who are opting to wear it regardless of whether their mothers or immediate family do. Some argue its religious overtones are being used in tandem with an act of rebellion or as a way of tilting at society. In the first of a series of reports, our home affairs correspondent Darshna Soni has been finding out why some British women choose to wear the niqab. They've been accused of threatening the British way of life, provoking a national debate about freedom of expression and integration in modern Britain. Being called a terrorist and having aggressive behaviour towards me, I actually felt really scared. They find it a very empowering experience. They're not dressing the way the magazines tell them to. It is a big step. It does take a lot of courage. But why are an increasing number of young Muslim women covering their faces? I spent the day on Birmingham's Coventry Road, home to the city's largest Muslim community. It's often assumed that girls who wear the niqab are forced into it by their families. I met Asma, who started covering her face when she was just a young teenager at an all-girls school. I was about 13 years old when I first started to wear the niqab. Um, Which is really young. It is. It is very young. I think I shocked a lot of people. Including your own family? Yes, definitely. I think my mum was in the biggest of shock. <laughs> Asma's mum doesn't wear the veil. In fact, none of the women in her family do, and that caused some controversy. So do you think part of it was that whole teenage rebellion thing? Um, for a bit, yeah. It was like, OK, this is new, it's, it's interesting. It's different. It's different. I don't think I actually understood the meaning and the purpose of wearing it at that particular time. Right. I so you, you, you didn't even understand the reasons fully yourself? Girls like to find a character like to find a personal persona for themselves. The teenager says she has now studied her religion's teachings on the veil and decided to continue with it. We found that, like asthma, a growing number of young girls are wearing the niqab even though their mothers never did, although there are no official numbers. Zaina Yassin has just finished university and says some girls are choosing the niqab as a way of asserting a Muslim identity they feel is under attack. It doesn't make sense. Surely it's, you know, it's a lot better for a woman to cover up than to be walking around semi-naked. You know, it's, where's the modesty? Does it's, it make you feel uncomfortable when you see women wearing skimpy clothes? In it does. It really does. I just feel, it feels quite shameful, really. You know, they call it the westernised world, but is that what it is? Is that what people want nowadays? Their daughters and everyone to copy role models such as like, you know, just recently Miley Cyrus. She was Hannah Montana at one point. So many young girls loved her and now she's gone and done this ridiculous thing on stage that everybody's talking about. I mean, is that the kind of role model that people want in their lives? They want their daughters to grow up like that. But does this view represent a clash of cultures? Many young Muslims are rejecting Western ideals about beauty. When I've spoken to young girls, they, I guess they find it a very empowering experience because they're not dressing the way the magazines tell them to. So it's ironic that a lot of people think women wear the veil because it's because they're oppressed or it's disempowering, but you're saying it's the opposite. Yeah, um, you know, I think generally, if you, if you don't know about Islam, you often see women and think, yeah, they're either from another country or, you know, they've been told to do it by their husbands or forced to do it by their families. Shalina Litt works for a community radio station. She believes the debate about banning the burqa has stigmatised Muslim women who've been labelled as extremist, sometimes by their own families. My family's first reaction when I started wearing the veil was not a positive one. They did feel that I was being brainwashed or it was coming from the Wahhabis and, you know, different family members gave me copies of books that maybe would you know, broaden my understanding. So I read The Islamists. I was even offered um, The God Delusion, you know, so... Um, so they were worried that you'd been brainwashed into wearing it? Yeah. Shalina accepts that the niqab can make people uncomfortable because unlike a hijab or headscarf, it completely covers a woman's face. I have heard people say, oh, it's like wearing a mask. What do you mm -hmm. think to that? For me, it, it's not a mask. You know, it's, it's something that I'm doing to gratify, you know, it's a gratifying experience. 
Yeah, I find it really claustrophobic. If you haven't built a relationship with your Lord, yes. the one that commands you to do this, then it will feel like that a little bit. But... but are women commanded to wear the niqab? Within Islam itself, there is fierce debate. And we found some concern that young girls are being made to feel that it's a religious duty to cover up. There are just two arguably ambiguous references in the Quran dealing specifically with women's dress, and this has led to different interpretations. Marina Parnanen is studying to become an Islamic scholar, one of the few women in this area. She's a Cambridge graduate and a white Christian convert. Many female converts wear the veil as a way of visually identifying with their adopted community. I've heard people even say, oh, it's not even Islamic, which is laughable because, you know, if you actually study Islam, you'll find that the niqab is something in Islam. There's a difference of opinion about whether you must wear it or it's recommended or if it's just neutral, but it's not something that people can say, oh, it's not even Islamic. But because there are some kind of, I would say, ignorant people in the community saying that, that sends out a very mixed message to non-Muslims who then look at it like, are you being extreme or are you not being extreme? We don't really understand. Ironically, scholars say that face veiling was practiced by many cultures before Islam and that Muslims adopted it as a way of fitting into these societies. Today, they're accused of the very opposite. And yet many of the young women we met say they are, in their own ways, still simply trying to fit in, a finding a way of expressing the very British freedoms they're accused of undermining. Yes. Yes. Darshan and tomorrow night we'll hear from Sarah, a white Muslim convert, on how people react to her wearing the niqab in public. It's fear, and I understand that, and I have to be tolerant towards that. I was ignorant once. You know, I didn't know anything about Islam.